The Chief Executive Officer of the newly formed Bastyr Synergy Football Club, Mr. Earl Jones, is disappointed in the response of the Sinkis Nevis Football Association regarding an application the club recently filed. According to Mr. Jones, who is also the head coach of the club, the Sinkis Nevis Football Association turned down the application for reasons he believes that are unjust. They basically turned us down. We, we was not accepted. And having a conversation, speaking to the, the, um, the General Secretary, Mr. Stanley Jacobs, he, he said to me personally, he said to me that um, there's some reasons why we, we were not um, accepted, mainly being because they wanted to, to, to know that the club is um is is in will be in existence they want to they want to be sure that we are doing uh, football activities and, and and stuff and i said to him well mr jacobs since even before um even before we filed the application we've been active you know and he's saying to me that uh the members basically uh not seeing that enough we, we, we were not together uh, long enough, basically. He used the term fly by night, right? And, 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 and I, felt, I felt real bad. I even tell him, though, you shouldn't use that term, fly by night, because knowing you have serious people involved in, in, in it. I mean, presently, I don't really talk much about myself, but um, I'm a past head coach of the national senior men's team also. The senior women's team, also the under 23 um, men's, recently came from Jamaica. Uh, you know, right? Presently, I'm 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 the the, the, the head coach of the under the U15 girls at the national level, and I mean, using certain terms will 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 will, will only will only hurt my feelings. You know, seeing that um, he knows that um. I'm trying to venture into, into, you know, deeper into the football. He said in his talk with the SKNFA General Secretary, it is unclear what time frame is required in order for the club to become a member. He describes such a situation as being unfair to the players in the club. Right now, it, 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 it only leaves me to wonder when, you know, when will we, will we be accepted? Because we are all about the development of the sport. Overseas, we have sponsors ready to jump on board. Overseas sponsors ready to jump on board and stuff. And we will be um, keep going. Actually, we will start, and I could say it right now, we will start a youth tournament for the girls within the schools um, coming early next year. Uh, because, again, you know, the, we, we tend to look at the females right now. And... We will, we, will be, we will keep going because the youths out there want to get involved in, 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 in the sport. I mean, why not? You know, so we will see where it goes. Um, I said to him, one of the things I said to the, the general secretary, uh, that um, I can't hold players hostage. There's players out there want to play, want to play for our club. But if, if, if we have them at our club, is like we just training, 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 developing the, the skill, yes. But the game is also the best teacher and they need to play games. Right? And and it will be unfair to have them there hostage, I would I would call it. Not doing anything, not playing anything, not competing, and that wouldn't be good for them. We need them to develop properly. You know, so it's different stages you you, you need to follow. SKN Newsline spoke with Mr. Stanley Jacobs, Secretary General of the SKN FA who said at the time that an official response was shortly to be sent to Mr. Jones. He said he could not provide additional comment on the matter. Jones said the Bastyr Synergy Football Club was formed in May 2020 in response to what he perceived an urgent need to push the development of football on St. Kitts, as well as to contribute to the personal growth and development of players, including through sports scholarships, with the possibility of pursuing football as a career choice. Jones said the club's youth academy teaches the skills required in playing football as well as the important life skills for the young players. He said a schooling assistance program is also part of the club's mandate. Glenn Bart, SKN Newsline.